if we're trying to break our conditioning, what are the ways that we can do it? So we're talking about having awareness subtly in the body of what it is that we want to change and really identifying the signs and symptoms that show up in our body when we're doing something that we don't want to be doing. And then even if we know consciously, these are things that we could do to mitigate it, like taking a break, like focusing on only one thing at a time to not fall into the overachieving. The reality is that there are some patternings such as wanting to feel accomplished, wanting to stand out, wanting to do it well, fear of letting other people down, not being good enough, that so long as that program is running, it will be very difficult to effectuate any long-standing and significant change. So the different approach beyond you know, behavioral modification is to try and access the part of us that really wants to stand out, to access the part of us that is really afraid of letting others down or worried about not being good enough. So until we can find that part within ourselves, we will be left with all our efforts at the level of behavior modification, which only works when we have energy and time to be very conscious about it. And as soon as we let our conscious focus fall away, we will fall back into being driven by what is effectively a child need, a child's need to be seen and noticed, to be validated. And that continues to drive adult behavior into perpetuity unless we can find that child and tell her that she's good just by her beingness. She's perfect just as she is. She doesn't need to do anything but be who she is and already we appreciate her. The reality is that not many of us receive that from our parents. And so to make that change, we have to give it to ourselves. 